Okay, it's 103 degrees, and here we have Vegas. These poor people, homeless, elderly, vets who fought for our country. You've seen it yesterday on Memorial Day. Look how many people. Does our president care? No, he cares about short, not enough potato chips and eating ice cream. That's our administration. Look how many. Look. Did you see those homeless people? It was 100 plus today in Las Vegas. Dry heat, no heat. Those people, those homeless people, new areas, new homeless people, young people, elderly, and vets all over the streets of Las Vegas, all over California, actually over the world, as this economy is just upside down. But before I go any farther, like and share. Hello, and I'm back. I'm Sal Capano. Now, we're gonna talk, this video might take a little longer. This is important. You see the flag behind me. I am proud to be an American, and you should be too. What happened today? Love him, hate him, don't give a crap. With Donald J. Trump, if they wanted to bring charges, stick with this, they could have brought these charges seven years ago. This wasn't about charges and 34 counts, whatever, up to 20 years in prison. We just, this is history. It was about his name because he's fighting for us. And I have a problem. We all should have a problem. If they can do this to the former President Trump, then they can do it to a truck driver, a YouTube channel, you, a bartender, blackjack dealer, so on and so forth, a mom at home. They will make up so much stuff. It was a bad day. Not bad on him guilty and some of him come across and say this is great he should be it's not even about that it's about justice the democrats are trying to make the united states of america like cuba they're communism they're trying to brainwash they don't care you think they care about the immigration these people coming over venezuela mexico china actually these people come from iraq as well they don't give a shit they have. They just want the votes. They don't. You think they care about most of us? See, I was a Democrat a long time ago. The Democrat Party has changed. I am not here to brainwash you or convince you. You're you're convinced. And but the Democrat Party does not care about the middle class anymore. Actually, the Republicans don't either. Okay. Majority of, and where are they at today in this? To the Republicans, um, they should be supporting, backing up Trump because it can happen to them. This is Donald Trump. He's a, he's he's listed as a Republican, but he's he's trying to get this economy back where it was before a virus came. Which, in my opinion, well, I won't get into it. <sighs> Look. Every unemployment and gas. I know I sound like every other Republican or, or I'm not gonna say Republican in the United States of America. The economy was fine and now it's destroyed. It's destroyed. There's no more middle class and it's gonna get worse. You see these homeless people, these are not just all druggies as the comments come in. These are not just people who gamble. Yes, there's some mental illness a lot these are people that were like us watching who are getting social security eleven hundred dollars and can't afford two thousand dollar rent because of who administration food fifty percent car insurance fifty percent electricity sixty five percent up this is biden's administration biden administration he's the puppet and that's our problem all because of he doesn't want to give in because of this Al Gore, look him up for you young people who don't know who the hell he is, and his climate change and fossil fuel and windmills and don't believe in gas anymore. And I'm not saying that's what we should go forever and have an oil. Worry about the present, the time right now. We can you imagine gas gets close to ten, twelve dollars with this administration going forward, if he even runs, because I have a feeling he'll be dropping down, and I just have this feeling that somebody else will take over. We can throw out Gavin Newsom, God, God for Kamala Harris, 
you know, all kinds of uh, other names out there. But in my opinion, on the flip side, I actually think this helps because I think a lot of people are going to support Trump on this. I think even Democrats are going to say, I talked to a Democrat today real quick. You know what he said to me? He goes, I don't like Trump, but that's, he goes, it, he said, he goes, couldn't they have brought these charges to seven years ago? Goes, yeah, sure they could. Sure they could. And what's that mean to us? They, they cut stuff out. I could say something. You could say something. They dig into taxes, this, that. Even if Trump did something wrong, it was A, B, C. The juries had to pick one. It wasn't like A, good, B, bad, C, fair. It was all bad. They had to pick one. It was rigged. Do you understand? All right, guys. It's like a test, and you can't get it right. Okay? That's what it was. That's exactly what it was. It was rigged. They're trying to crucify him like Jesus Christ on the cross. I mean, but I, I think it helps because I think people are going to say, wow, if they can do it to a former president, if they can do it to, say, say Biden, or they can do it to this one, they won't do it to Biden. They can do it to anybody. This should not be. Anything that should happen should happen years ago, but it's going to help him. He's going to come back stronger than ever. And the real answer will be in November, and I think majority of people and the independent voters who make up the election are going to say, wow, I did, that there alone, they're going to say, wow, well, he, he, he's a little mean, he's not whatever I get, but guess what? I can't continue with the crooked and what they can do to people, let alone the gas and food and insurance. And, I mean, think about it. So, put your head on that pillow tonight. This was not a good day for the United States of America. This hurt us all. Whether you support Donald Trump or not. It wasn't like he did anything. He didn't do nothing. Do you get it? Nobody even has a clue. The juries didn't even have a clue what the heck was going on. Okay? It's nothing. He never he didn't have fear. If anybody in feared with the election, there was votes all over the damn ground. And here's something: my son's vote never even counted. He voted for Trump. So if anything was crooked, it was on the Democrat side. And these poor homeless people, it's sad for them because I tell you why. They say to me, I don't care for Trump. I don't give a shit about Biden. You know what they say? We care about the people. And, and it's about the people. Not Robert De Niro. Not Donald Trump. And not Biden. Sure, not Biden. It's for the people. The, us. And that's, I think, where Trump's at on 90%. It's for the people. And maybe 10% pride. But that's what it's for. It's not about all this other shit that's going on. It's about the people. But President Biden's worried about, I'll say this the last time, shortage of potato chips. Short, there's not enough Skittles in the bag. Doesn't know his wife from his sister. He's got a little bit, I don't wish this on anybody, God forbid, he's got some dementia. And that's it in a nutshell. So it's a sad day for the United States and very sad for the homeless people because they say, wow, we were in our house with Donald Trump. They were in their house before the pandemic. And now, four years later, they're on the street. They're on the street. Not all President Biden's fault, but 85, 90% because it ricochets on everything else. That's all I have to say. And I know this video went a little long. Like, subscribe, and share. And you can disagree at any time. This is my opinion. May God bless you. Agree or disagree. Love you all.